What up, poopy? How's it going? Oh, you're coming in here. Okay. Daisy, sit. Took you long enough. Okay, who's a good puppy dog? Well, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing... Hi. We're not going fishing today. Or are we? I don't really know what the plan is for today, but I did get a package and uh, we're here at my parents' house because I get everything shipped here. But look at this, we got a guide gear package. What is inside, Daisy? I don't know, I wonder what it is. As you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail of today's video, we got a truck tent for the bed of our truck. I worded that really weird. I did some searching around and I thought this one was the best one. Um, so, oh, wow, okay, I didn't even pull them. I guess we're starting the unpackaging right now, right here, Daisy Dog. She has no idea what's going on, but you wanna go truck camping in the tent? No? Well, this is gonna be our new setup, so I'm excited. We're gonna crack her open, I guess she's already open. Here, well, let's set up the tripod and then get everything situated. I would be out in the sun, but it's like 100 degrees, literally 100 degrees. It's really humid out here. I think I'm probably gonna throw Daisy inside in just a second because it is hot. It's sunny, so I parked in the shade. You know, shout out to this lovely tree. Daisy, you ready to go inside? You're an excited puppy to go inside, aren't you? Let's go, come on. Oh, that, mm. see ya. That felt amazing, you know, when you open the door and you feel that cold air rush out, Ooh, it felt great. Okay, well, this package, man. It's just falling apart on us. Okay, well. That's not important. Look at that. Comes in a nice little purse, bag, whatever you want to call it. There we go, nice green on her. We're gonna crack her open, by the way. He's right here. Oof da, oof da, oof da. Well, before we even get unpackaging this, you guys know my current situation on my truck camping. You know, I just lay the seat all the way back and uh, kind of sit there. But this way, we get a nice comfy area in the back of the truck here. And uh, look how small it is, it's not very big. You can stow this away under the seat. Doesn't take up any room. You can camp wherever you want in a parking lot, on the road, literally anywhere you want. You can set up this and be good to go. And uh, yeah, that's what she's supposed to look like right there. Pretty sicko mode, man. Uh, the only concern that I have is that my truck cover. My truck cover might botch it. I don't know. We're gonna have to fold it up real quick and uh, see how it looks. Okay, just like that, we're good to go. Old son. I'm gonna roll her out. So here we got our lovely poles. We're gonna wanna keep this. That's one way to do it. All right, we got three different poles. We got the black poles, we got the green poles, and we got the gray poles. I'm guessing this is the rain cover, if we want a rain cover. You know, a nice little, you know, thing you can hang up and store stuff in there. But this is the tent, the main portion of it right here at least. This is the front. This goes back there. Uh -oh. First thing is first, you get these lovely straps. I have to figure out where to put them. I gotta still line it up perfectly, but it's a working progress. So we're gonna get everything situated, try and get it set up as fast as we can here before you know the heat completely destroys us. Cause, it, Cause like I said, it's hot out here, it's steamy. And uh, I wanna get this done fast, man. We're gonna do this, gonna figure it out. And we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so the green pole goes into the front here, it's like the entryway, the doorway. We just gotta insert it into there, just like that. And uh, we gotta fit it through the other hole now. We got the lovely green pole through the front. It's supposed to, you know, hold it up the entryway there, just like that. We can kinda see a little sneak peek inside there. But now we just need to get the dark gray poles and the black poles up there. Shouldn't take too much longer. We're gonna do that, you guys just stay tuned. See you guys in just a little bit. Well, there we go. Here's our new lovely truck tent for the bed. It's pretty spacious in there, honestly. I'm pretty surprised on how well it went. So just kind of show you guys, there's what, three poles that came with it. There's these two gray ones that, you know, go across from each other. And then you get this one 
for the front door and then I guess you get four total because this one goes straight up here to the back and that's what, you know, holds up the roof basically. Uh, you get a window here, a window on the other side. So I did have a problem. I already broke this strap, which I don't think it'll be a big deal. I could probably fix it pretty easily, but basically, you know, it just sits down here and it attaches to the tent to the truck bed. Um, kind of stretch in there, could probably loosen that up a little bit. And then also the truck bed cover is kind of botching things. It's supposed to sit right on the edge here, like right where my finger is. But unfortunately this just, you know, it can't sit there because of this. So I just kind of stretch it over and it should be good for now. But once we actually go truck camping in it, we'll see if it works or not. But I mean, it's pretty secured. It's tied down pretty good. There's straps that go underneath your tailgate and attach up to here. I did not attach those today, but when we actually go camping, we will. But yeah. That's what she looks like. It's just a simple classic tent. You obviously get your screen door and then you get a, you know, door for privacy. I think it's time to go in this little thing. Oh God. Woo. Look at that. This is sick. Okay. So we get to lay down just like this. This is pretty comfy. Well, it's not comfy yet yet. If you had like a yoga mat or something like that, a sleeping mat, whatever you want to call it, you would be mint which i have a cot and i think my cot will easily fit in this so when i go camping i'm gonna bring my cot and then you know we can hang lights up there if we want or if we get too hot we can just crack open a window just like that oh you want a window on this side too sure sure thing buddy look at that window on both sides and then you know you can have your screen thing but it is pretty spacious in this thing. I mean, I'm laying down, I'm not very tall. I'm only about, what am I, 5'8", five, 5'9ish five, around there. I'm not a tall person. But look at all this little leg room, old son. Look at that. Well, my bed is what, five and a half feet, I think it is. I'm just sitting up against the back here of the truck. Look how much room I have. This is insane. I didn't think it'd be this much room. I thought it'd be a little less room, to be honest with you. You get a nice tall ceiling. I mean, I'm sitting down, my head isn't hitting it, but if I kind of stand on my knees like this, I'm just hitting the top of it. So it's pretty spacious, honestly. You could fit two whole cots in here and be pretty comfortable, I think. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this thing, man. I mean, I'm liking it. And then obviously you get the rain cover, but I'm not gonna set the rain cover because it's bluebird skies. It's sunny and it's hot, so. We don't need the rain cover today. And then also we get, you know, a couple pouches we can throw stuff in. There's another pouch over here. That's pretty much it for this little thing. It's pretty cool. Um, we just close her up. Here's this thing completely closed. I mean, it's just like a two, three man tent. You know, you would buy at the store and you'd screw it in your bed. That's basically all it is. Looks pretty good on the outside. You know, there she is. Looks pretty cool. What does she look like from the back here? Oh God, yeah. That thing is awesome looking. And here's a strap that broke. Kind of looks like you can just probably, I mean, it's supposed to attach to that, which I mean, I could probably figure something out to attach it. But there we go. Already had it for less than 24 hours and I already broke it. Nice. If you guys are new to the channel, I just have a Ford F-150. It's a 2010 Lariat. So that's what I have. And yeah, here we go. Freaking sweet. I'm excited to sleep in it. Um, I think I'm going to go camping, not today, but the next couple days I'm going to be truck camping out of this and doing a little bit of fishing at the same time. So I'm excited. What's up? You come check out the tent? Yeah. We got our brother Jeffrey coming out here and Daisy Dog checking out the tent. Was, the time. was she? Yeah. She, do you want to hop in there, Daisy? Hi on. Oh, oh, there she goes. What do you think of it? Oh, it's pretty big in there, dude, isn't it? It came in such a small box, though. Yeah, it's light. I don't. So it fits entirely into this bag. Yep. I don't know how I'm gonna squeeze it back in there. I'm not the best packer, but. Well, I mean, you can keep this in your cab. The entire, I can keep like, it under my life. seat. Oh yeah. Easily, and then wherever I want to camp, I can just pop it up. Right, Days. Are you gonna? What do you think, Days? Do you like it? <laughs> oh, you good. sat down. That's just pee. If you peed in here, I'd be mad with you. I think you like it. Does it no, approve? Oh, I took her out. I'm taking her out so she can pee right now. Oh, rip. Don't pee in there. Isn't the how I get down from here. Oh, here. There. Come on, Daisy. Come on. There she that goes. Good cool. girl. Well, that's what we got. I'm impressed with it. Um, drop a comment down below what you guys think of it. If you guys think it's a good purchase or I should have bought something else. Um, I believe this brand is 
guide gear. I have never heard of them. I think they're kind of like a great value of camping stuff. I am, I'm not really sure though. I could be completely wrong. They could be really bougie, really good, but I think that's kind of what I got from it. And blam, just like that, um, that becomes this into this little tiny bag, which we can store anywhere. It's only like five pounds too. It's pretty freaking light. We're just gonna throw it right in there, right next to the life scope. But that is gonna be the end for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was something a little bit different and new. And I'm excited to bring out the truck to go truck camping again. I missed it. If you guys have any video suggestions on what I should do with the truck tent, drop a comment down below. Let me know what I should be doing with it. And uh, also, I know John and I haven't been filming a whole lot. He's been busy. He was actually just out in California filming some videos. I think him and Eric are going to be filming later this week. So be ready for some videos with John and I in them together. Anyways, like I was saying, thank you for watching today's video. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.